In this video, you'll learn how to set up subscriber tracking for your Facebook and Instagram ads. Conversion tracking is critical for feeding data to analytics tools and ad platforms like Facebook to optimize your ad campaigns. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set up a Google Tag Manager account, set up a trigger that captures signups, and set up an ad in Meta's Ads Manager. Let's get straight into it. First, we'll be setting up a Google Tag Manager account. Google Tag Manager can help with tracking events and specific user actions like clicks, video plays, downloads, or in this case, subscribes. First, go to tagmanager.google.com and make sure you're logged into a Google account. After you've signed in, click on Create Account and fill out the details on screen. Under Account Name, I'll add the name of my Beehive publication and select the country I'm based in. Now under Container Setup, add your publication's website URL and for Target Platform, select Web. Now you'll be redirected to your Google Tag Manager workspace, where you'll see a code that starts with GTM in the top right corner of your screen. Now copy this code and log into your Beehive account. Now go to Settings, Website, and Analytics, and paste in your code where it says Google Tag Manager Pixel ID. Now that we've done that, we've deployed Google Tag Manager on our Beehive website, and we can now start tracking specific user events like when someone subscribes. It's now time to create a custom signup trigger. We basically need to tell the analytics tool that the event we're tracking, a subscription in this case, has occurred. This trigger we're going to create will help more accurately track signups to our newsletter, which is likely the conversion metric you'll be measuring when running ads. To add a new trigger, click on triggers on the left-hand side of your Tag Manager workspace and click on new in the top right of your screen. Now you can name your trigger. In this case, I'll be calling it subscriber signup. Now click on trigger configuration and scroll down and click on custom event, which is under other. For the event name, type in signed up and make sure you type it out exactly as shown on screen right now, as it is case sensitive. Now, when we're running an ad, we can use this custom event or trigger to track signups. Now let's add an email variable. Many platforms, including Meta, increase the accuracy of conversion tracking by matching subscribers' emails to their accounts. By passing their email to Meta, your campaign may be more accurate and may lead to lower costs. To do this, go to Variables and click on New next to User Defined Variables. Now I'm going to name this variable DLV-Email and select a variable type. From here, click on data layer variable. Now under data layer variable name, type in event props dot email. Once again, make sure to type it out exactly as shown on screen as it is case sensitive. Once you're done, click on save. Now it's time to set up a Facebook pixel. A Facebook pixel is a snippet of code that collects data about how users interact with your site. To set one up, go to business.facebook.com and log into your Facebook or Instagram account. Once you're logged in, click on Event Manager in the sidebar. If you don't see it, you're probably in the Meta Business Suite, which in this case, you'll see it under All Tools instead. Now in the sidebar, you'll see an option to connect data sources. Here, click on it, then click on Web and Connect. Under name, I'll type out my Beehive publication's name and then enter its URL. Now to set up the pixel, it's very simple. Click do it yourself and then click on meta pixel only, then install code manually. Now you'll be prompted to install the code base, but you can actually skip over this. Just click on continue until you're done with the setup and now you'll be redirected to the pixel overview. From here, you can copy the pixel ID, which is right underneath the data source name, and then go to your Beehive account. Now in Beehive, go to Settings, Website, and Analytics, and here you can paste in the pixel ID you just copied. Now that you have your pixel ID, you can also add it in Google Tag Manager. Go back to Google Tag Manager and go to Variables, and here we'll be adding our pixel ID as a variable so we can use the pixel ID in different parts of Tag Manager without having to copy and paste it every single time. To do this, click on new and label this variable as id-meta or something similar. Now choose a variable type called constant and paste in the pixel ID. 
Now the last step is to create a tag. This is how you actually deploy the code that communicates the signup with the pixel collection code. To do this, click on tags in the menu and click on new. Now click on tag configuration and discover more tag types in the top right corner. Now search up Facebook and then click on Facebook pixel. Now click on add to workspace in the top right and click on add. Here I'll name the tag meta event dash subscribe and under Facebook pixel IDs, you can add the pixel ID variable that you just created. To do this, type in two curly brackets by holding shift plus the bracket key, followed by the name of the variable. Then click on it from the drop down menu. Now where it says event name, change the event from page view to subscribe since we're tracking newsletter subscribes. Now check on enable advanced matching and click on add parameter under customer information data parameters. Now select email from the drop down menu and for parameter value, type in two curly brackets again, followed by the custom name of the email variable we previously made. Lastly, click on triggering and choose the subscriber sign up custom event that you created at the start of this tutorial. Now click save and then hit submit in the top right corner of your workspace. Now, when you go to create a Facebook or Instagram ad, you can select the pixel you just made and select the subscribe conversion event you created to accurately track newsletter signups. This is how it'll look like. First, go create an ad and click on leads or sales and click on manual leads campaign. Now where it says conversion, select on website and for performance goal, select maximize number of conversions. Also select the pixel you just made. Now select subscribe from the conversion events dropdown menu. If you do this immediately after setting up the conversion tracking, you may receive a warning saying that no data has been received. This is completely normal as it typically takes several hours up to 24 hours for data to begin populating in Meta's platform. Now when you're done, Meta will optimize your ad to maximize the number of conversions, or in this case, subscribes or newsletter signups. And that's about it for this video. You can check out the playlist below for more growth tutorials just like this.